And now it's time for another episode of Agriculture in East Texas, brought to you by Shelby Savings Bank. This time we met with a 4-H farmer, Laura Ann Skull. Well, this is Miss Laura Ann Skull, and she's one of our 4-H members, and this is her second year to do the chickens, and I think she rather enjoys that project, and just kind of wants you to tell us about what you like about the broiler project, Laura Ann. So, um, this is my second year doing it, and I like doing it because um, <laughs> I love animals, and I, uh, this is the one thing where you could show in the city limits, and I think it's really fun just going out and showing the chickens to the poultry customer. Alright, well, so let's talk a little bit about your day. So, what time of the morning do you get out here and tend to your chickens? Six. 6 a.m. And what grade are you in? I'm in the sixth grade. Sixth grade. So you, now, it, it, sometimes I don't wake them at six o'clock, but that's my life. That's your that's, goal. That's my goal. There you go. Okay. So after 6 a.m., you go in there. What do you do? Uh, well, if their waters are all the way filled and they're not hot, well then I'll just dump them out and make sure there's no shavings in there. But if they're low, I'll go up to the back and I'll fill them up and I'll put them back. And I do their, I do fresh feed. Fresh feed. So you do that at 6 o'clock. Is that the only time you mess with your chickens? No. Okay, I, so tell me what right, your day is. Uh, well, I can't do it in the middle of the school day, but my mom does, and she does the same thing that I do. But I come home from school, and I do the same thing. If they're full, full and they're not hot, I'll leave them in there and just make sure there's no shavings. But if it's very low, we'll, I'll we'll fill it back up, and I'll freshen their food. And after that, I come out every hour to check on them. Every hour until you go to bed. Yes. And that's about what time you reckon you're finished um, with your chickens in the evening? About 6.30. 6.30. But I have to do them at night also. Yeah, and then you come back out at night and do mm -hmm. them before at you go to bed. About 7.30, my, my dad helps me at night because we have the uh, lard. Mm -hmm. And we put it in their feed. And I fill up their waters. We have to fill them up at night, even if they're really full. And I'll put new feed, and that's all. That's pretty much all I do to help them. And then I, right before I go to bed, I'll come out here and check on them. Okay. So when you go out there, do you try to just you just look around, or you try to make sure that they get up and go eat and I drink? I make sure I get up and I make sure they're moving. But if I just come out here to get like a drink or something. I have a water bottle up there and I'll kind of spray at them so they'll get up or I'll go in the pen and I have a glass water and I'll make sure. And I'll freshen their feet up all the time. Alright. So there's a lot to it. It's an yes. intense project. It lasts about six weeks. Mm -hmm. But you enjoy the work when you yes. get out there and do that. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday. What about Saturday? Do you look forward to that Saturday, October the 6th, the Poultry Festival? Yes. I'm very excited. I want to see what place I get. Hopefully we make this sale. That's right. And can't beat all the community support that we get here in Shelby County that comes out and takes care of our youth and, and for the 4-H and FFA. We really do appreciate that. So what is your favorite part about raising chickens? My favorite part of showing chickens is I like tending to my chickens and showing my chickens. Agriculture in East Texas is brought to you by Shelby Savings Bank. cbc-radio.com, keeping you connected wherever you go.